This right here is a brand new Clash Royale account, and this account is going to be entirely free to play. And I'm going to be playing on this free to play account until I reach the Path of Legends at 5,000 trophies. Tutorial game one is done. I am 19 years old. For the name of this account, I will make it Solar Free to play so basically i have played clash royale for almost seven years at this point and i have never been a free-to-play player so i want to do this journey to see what it really is like for all of the free-to-play players out there and there we go we already hit level two from upgrading some cards that's incredible and we get level up chests at every single level dude i forgot that they reworked the level system so we get a bunch more progress now that's great we unlocked three new cards and we can upgrade our archers that is crazy just like that we already got level three archers so as i play my first game let me explain a little bit more about how this is going to work first things first is that i'm going to play on this account for one hour every single day i could do a lot more but i feel like an hour is a semi-accurate representation to how someone would actually do it in a real you know clash royale setting and so each of these videos is going to consist of multiple days documenting my experience so for example you are currently watching day one but this video will also have day two and probably day three as well and as i am talking i am also losing my tower that is not how i want to do this so anyway this is going to be a super fun experience as i previously said i have never been a free-to-play clash royale player before so i'm excited to see where this journey takes me and as of right now things are not looking good because i am losing to someone with zero trophies but anyway let's change that really quick all right there we go we ended up three grounding as i should have much sooner but i'm an idiot look at this person's username number one pekka hater my guy what did the pekka ever do to you Pekka's just chillin'. Why do you have to insult the Pekka like that? All right, on the trophy road, we get to choose between goblins and spear goblins. I am definitely choosing goblins. And even though I'm not gonna use them, I'm gonna upgrade them because getting experience early on is really important. We gotta get as high level as possible because when we get to the mid ladder territory, if we're not at a high level, it's gonna be really difficult. So you gotta start early. And just like that, we already have another reward on the trophy road a nice little gold chest and while i open this gold chest i would like to note that this series was inspired by kairos times free to play series that he is doing in brawl stars currently but anyway we unlocked the goblin hut which is pretty cool and we can upgrade our knight so we're going to do that to level three also one thing for progression that is really important to note is that Clash Royale makes it really difficult to experiment with multiple decks. So I'm going to try to focus my best on doing one deck throughout this entire challenge. Now that deck will change because you know, if I unlock new cards, then there might be some cards I wanna use instead of other cards, but I'm gonna make the core fundamental cards in the deck pretty much the same throughout. Like the Musketeer, the Mini P.E.K.K.A., the Arrows, and the Fireball. Those will not be leaving my deck throughout this challenge. And there we go, another Trophy Road reward. Let's do Goblin Cages. And here we have our last gold chest before we hit the next arena. We're actually making good progress. 20 minutes in and we're already basically at Arena 2. And just like that, we have another 3 crown. I don't think I haven't 3 crowned someone at this point. And with that 3 crown, we hit arena 2 and also i can upgrade my minions to level 2 as well now bone pit is an incredibly important arena and i'll show you why in just a little bit all right between the skeletons and the bomber we're gonna take the bomber it's more value for two elixir skeletons are good but you can't underestimate the value of doing splash damage in early arenas and by upgrading the bomber enough we get to level three and we get another level up chest arrows goblin huts goblins and we got skeletons anyway and you know what i'm actually going to use the bomber i'm going to use the bomber nope not instead of the mini pekka not at all but instead of the minions we're going to use the bomber and then i'm going to upgrade my arrows to level three actually we can get them to level four i'm going to do that and so now in this moment right here we have achieved greatness because of this Whoa. card right here the valkyrie she is astounding exceptional every positive adjective i could ever say she will be going in my deck in place of the knight and she will not be leaving my deck 
ever. All right, there we go, a 32 trophy win. And with that, that will put us in Barbarian Bowl. In terms of these cards here, there's not really anything that I think I will end up using. I mean, none of these cards are horrible, but not really for what I'm trying to do with uh, my deck. So technically I do have 10 minutes left to go, but there's only really one more thing that I want to do. And that of course is link my account to Supercell ID. And there we go, we got a Supercell ID. If y'all wanna add me as a friend, then feel free to do so. I may or may not accept it, I don't know. There we go. Got my chicken emote. All right, so we're going to press pause at 53 minutes and call it a day for this video. All right, everyone, so it is the start of day number two, and I decided to make some changes to how this is kind of going to work. So as you can see, I completely got rid of the timer because I feel like one hour per day just isn't really an accurate representation for the average free-to-play player in Clash Royale. I want this to be as realistic as possible, and most people that are free-to-play aren't probably playing Clash Royale for one hour every day. That's actually a lot for this game. I feel like my perspective has just been warped a little bit because I'm used to sometimes playing for 10 hours consecutively to record a video. But what I am gonna do is I'm going to make this a little bit more challenging and I'm gonna set a limit for myself as to how many days I can do. And that limit is going to be 15 days. And if I can't complete this in 15 days, then I have to delete this account, meaning that all of my progress would have been for absolutely nothing. That's gonna be really interesting to see how this is gonna go. All right, there is our first win of the day. And let me tell you, we got, we got some shop offers here and these are are super super tempting especially this witch one because the witch is a super good card and 750 gems but guess what we're not doing any of it anyway back to it all right here's our first unlock of barbarian ball as i said these cards i'm not planning to use any of them but i guess i'll take the cannons and i do want to upgrade these a little bit so that way we can get to the next level we upgrade the cannons once and then the skeletons once to save gold and that gets us to level Four. Another level up chest. I will always take gems, barbarians, arrows, spear goblins, musketeers. Mm -hmm, that's big money, big money musketeers. Then we can get her to level five. That is a massive upgrade. Massive, massive, massive. More rewards. Let's go. Another gold chest. What really sucks is I don't want to use the gems to unlock the chest in my chest slot. So they're just going to sit there and accumulate dust, meaning I just can't get other troops as fast but anyway let's upgrade some stuff archers to level four and giant to level five and we got more stuff literally the next battle mega minion or battle ram i'll take mega minion he's a cooler card I'm not gonna lie barbarian bowl so far is harder than bone pit if that makes any sense i don't know why i just feel like i'm playing against more bots and the people that i am playing against they're just they're they're terrible <laughs> see like look at this you you don't play a battle ram in the back that's not how you play that card all right here we got a giant chest this one's big i would like fireballs here if i can get those that would be ideal no that's not what i want no yes no actually i'm not using those anymore yes oh man fireballs are big money it's been at level three for way too long we're gonna upgrade that to level four and we're gonna get it to level five and level six, just like that. Okay. And then that puts us at level five where we get magic items now. That's another big milestone. And when you unlock magic items, you actually get some for free, which is really cool. For my common wild cards, I'll put those on the arrows for right now. Then for the rares, we'll go mini P.E.K.K.A as well. Well, I can upgrade to level five, level five for the mini P.E.K.K.A as well. Then we have a level up chest where we will get gems, wild cards, skeletons, knights, and cannons. We also get banners here as well. Okay, I get a free banner box. That's, that's really cool actually. All right, what am I gonna get here? What am I gonna get? Blue stars, that's... It could be better. And then we also unlock the pass as well. Of course, we can't do the paid track, but we can still do the free track, which is cool. It's still free rewards. Actually, we have a bunch of crown chests here. We can go all the way down to tier 12. Wow, okay. I think I'm actually gonna save a bunch of those chests until I get to arena five. So that way I can get as many hog riders as possible because I'm gonna be relying on that a lot. And now we should be there. 
There we go. Spell Valley. But anyway, I've been recording for 40 minutes according to my recording software. So that's a good place to leave off at day number two. I'll see y'all in day number three. All right, it is now day number three, and today I have one goal, that is to get to Builder's Workshop and to unlock the little hog rider man. That might break my rule of like less than an hour, but that's my goal. I'm gonna do my best to get there. Anyway, let's start out Spell Valley. Admittedly, matches are starting to get a little bit harder. We're playing against people who are slightly competent and who like actually know how to play defense now. So it means that I kind of have to adjust accordingly. I can't just spam giants at the bridge anymore. It's unfortunate, but it's reality. 33 trophies, that's that's a, that's actually a lot. And that already gives us our first reward of 50 common wild cards. I can tell you right now, pretty much all of my common wild cards are gonna go towards my arrows. Also, I'm still not totally like set on upgrading the archers and bombers at high levels. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. All right, really quick. I'm gonna do a little more upgrade in here because I want to get to level six. All right, after upgrading the spear goblins, we will get there. Level six, that gives us daily tasks. Wow, I didn't even realize that. That's a really big milestone. Getting daily tasks is just free progression. Absolutely, I'll take that. Another level up chest, wild cards, wizard, goblin cage, skeletons. And yeah, daily task is free progression, free XP, free crowns, and then free banner tokens as well. So that's a good thing. Between Inferno Tower and Wizard, it doesn't matter, but I don't care about Inferno Tower. You know what? I have some rare wild cards to spare. We're gonna upgrade my Valkyrie because I want to. Also, we'll do the same to the Musketeer. We have just enough to get her up to level six. All right, this is our last stop before Builder's Workshop. And we get to choose between the Electro Spirit and the Fire Spirit. Now, I won't be using either of these, but the Electro Spirit has a better mustache. Therefore, we shall use him. All right, that puts us at Builder's Workshop. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to unlock all of these crown chests in hopes of getting a hog rider. I'm kind of pushing my time limit, so I don't wanna wait until the unlock point. I'm just gonna gamble. This is not what you should do, but this is what I'm doing. There we go. Oh my gosh. It took me so long to get that. All right, there's the rest of the chest. We got some more, cool. All right, now everything is all about upgrading this hog rider. Level four, level five. Then we'll use some rare wild cards and get it to level six. Then I got a few more rare wild cards. We'll use that in the mini pack and get it to level six. All right, we cool for now. This is the new deck that we're going to be rocking with. And so on that note, I'm going to end part three. Anyway, thank you all for watching the video. Be sure to watch this video in the meantime until I upload part two. And when I do upload part two, it will be there for you to watch as well. I'll see you all in the next one.